G'day and welcome back to OS First Timer. In this episode, Dinah will be trying out Red Star OS as requested by Inky Dink back in the days when our Patreon was still operating. This North Korean operating system will be tested in its native language to see if it's intuitive enough to navigate visually even though Diana can't read Korean. Also, stick around as we discuss what life in North Korea is like as well as the darker side behind this operating system. Will the language be a barrier here? Keep watching to find out. Okay, so here you now are on the desktop of Red Star OS, and as you know, this is the operating system that North Koreans pretty much have to use. They don't really allow people to use Windows or Mac there, even though this is very much based off a of Mac. This is Red Star OS 3, released in 2012. Now, it looked very similar to Mac, however, previous versions of Red Star OS looked more like, you know, Windows 7 or Windows XP. This is actually Linux-based. As an extra challenge here, just to make this even more different, you're going to be trying it out in its native North Korean language, okay? Well, so you, Considering you I see, know nothing about the language of North Korea, this is going to be very challenging. Yeah, well, this is going to see... You've oh, actually, I can't even read this yeah. up there. <laughs> well, you can tell it's Red Star OS because it's got a red star yes. up there. So this is going to be very symbolic. You're going to see if, based on symbols and kind of how things are arranged, will you be able to use this? Unless um, the numbers are in English. Yeah, numbers are a worldwide mathematical thing, Mathematics is worldwide, uh, as far as I know. That's what they taught me in school anyway. <laughs> Mathematics, you can go to any country in the world and show mm -hmm. them 5 plus 5 and everyone will know it's 10. Possibly. You'd hope. You'd hope, yeah. I'm going to give you more facts about this operating system as you try it out, but so it's not a big fact bore at the beginning. First of all, your first task is what time is it? Okay, well, since the numbers are in English, that, well, <laughs> the numbers are universal. Yeah. It's 3.51. Fantastic. Now can you write, save, open and delete a text document? Okay, look at that. It's got the PDF. PDF. <laughs> I wouldn't have a clue what What do you think they is. are? Put your cursor over them and tell me what you think they are. Maybe the guide to using this system because it has like this sort of a star North Korea -y <laughs> type look. And okay. That's internet, but are they allowed to use the internet? Now, okay, that you know what? You just got me onto a fact. Let me go through my little list of facts here that I wrote about three weeks ago when we were supposed to test this out, but I got sick and then we couldn't. <laughs> and I was too busy anyway. So they have their own rudimentary intranet system. Now, it does not connect to the World Wide So web. not internet, but intranet. It's basically like their own little it's private... It's like internal. Right, that's right. Their own okay. private little internal internet just for them. So it's the North Koreans have like their own little world of internet. Internet. Yeah, they're only just like their own little world with pretty much everything, you know. I mean, like, wow. if there's a movie made in South Korea, North Koreans aren't allowed to watch South Korean movies because they'll see how free the South Koreans are and, you know, to compare to North, cause North mm -hmm. Koreans are, are very different places. Um, I can't believe that they... It's just really... They've got no now, freedom if yeah. they can't... As this is a controversial topic, we're not going to go too much into it, especially with the conflict between North Korea and the US right now, so okay. I'm trying not to go too much into it. But basically, mm -hmm. they've got their own little private internet that they use. In North Korea, they can't just go on Google. And nobody from outside the other countries, they can't access, access their, their little internet, internet one. system. Yeah, because it's, it's not mm -hmm. connected to the World Wide Web, you see. Um, so t technically... To They're in a world it, of their own. They are technically in a so. world of their own. Now, they actually do sometimes, on the internet that they've got there, mm -hmm. they actually will get news articles from real websites. So the North Koreans, a few there that are kind of the bosses, mm -hmm. have access to the real internet internet and they kind of filter news articles in, modify them a little bit so that, you know, it's more friendly to North Korea and then put them in so people can find out more about the world, but a modified state of it that's, you know, a bit different to what the real story really is. Or just parts of the real story. Yeah, exactly. Talk about censorship. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So um, the actual network that they've got there, it's estimated to have between 1,000 to 5,500 websites. So technically, I'm trying out this North Korean operating system, yeah. but yet all 
all the North Koreans will not be able to watch this. Technically, yes. Now, just on that topic, <laughs> so we're going so to... So what's the point? Well, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> but, okay, there's no YouTube in North Korea, okay? Now, students from North Korea actually came to Sydney recently, right? So I North... bet they utilised the internet now, and when went they crazy came here, with it. This is the interesting thing here. They came to Sydney, they saw the internet here, and one of them said they couldn't believe... They said they found a website called YouTube. They yeah. went on the YouTube website and they typed in something, right, you know, dog chasing cat or something. And they saw and they lots believe, of dogs chasing cats. And they cats. couldn't believe it. And they, and they tested it. They couldn't believe. No matter what they came up with, no matter what phrase There was said, something. There was a video on it. And they, because they're not used to that. Yeah. You know, where they are in North Korea, which is a very limited yeah, special internet course, thing. They, they came here and they couldn't believe, no matter what topic they typed up. They're not going to want to go back. Anything. They're yeah. going to want to stay here. Ex well, a few of them said they'd escaped from North Korea. Right. Okay. Anyway, why. we're going to move on now. We're not going to get too much into North Korean politics and all of that kind of stuff. Well, it doesn't matter because they're not going to see this. Well, the, technically, the bosses of North Korea could see this. Oh, well, they, they would censor it. They wouldn't put that for the Koreans to see. Yes, then but they could get angry. Let's just move so on. So what if they get angry? I mean, what are they going to do? Come well, and... think of what they do with the US. Well, they're when not they going to bomb the US. Australia just because of me. Well, they're already kind of angry at Australia for Australia saying that yeah, Australia but not would join the US. because of something I Okay, said. let's move on before this becomes... <laughs> nuclear. And I doubt anyway. that those censorship people will be watching YouTube and watching I Was First Timer okay. in particular. So what do you think the next icon is? Uh, a movie maker thing? Okay. And what's or, or, or watching movies. Being able to mm -hmm. watch North Korean movies. They're actually there. It's very hard to watch movies because apparently they only have electricity for one hour a day. Oh, pretty much, some of the people. Gosh. So it's a very low amount of electricity they get. And whenever there's I a power... I have no idea about this. Yeah, this I know. Just... So often they watch... Wow. Often those North Koreans... South Koreans will smuggle little DVDs and But wait a sec, how do they heat their homes? How do they... All their stuff would go off that's in the fridge. Do they yeah. even have fridges? Well, whenever there's like a power out and something, they blame. They say, oh, this is because of the war. This is because North America... This is because of America okay. that we've got a power out. So they blame America for all okay. their power outs. Calendar? Yep, you think, okay. Diary? Uh, organiser. Because these little things down the side make me think this is like a mm -hmm. personal organiser. Personally, when I see that, I think of an address book because it's got a person on it. Oh. Oh, That's okay. what I personally think of. But yeah, I think of personal organizer. <laughs> personal, okay. Yes, for that person. Yep. <laughs> organizer for that person. Now, that could either be a magnifying glass or it could be a search. Yep. But it says PDF. Okay. So PDF viewer. Okay. Maybe. Because you're viewing it yep. through. Okay. Calculator, obviously. Yeah. Um, the control center. The What do you call it? Um, the, like the settings yep. in Windows. Notepad. Writing. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. So I can do my next task. Gosh, it doesn't even know what it is. <laughs> oh, well, th I mean, not that that's a question mark, but it's sort of, what the hell is this? Yeah. It looks like almost <laughs> like some computer chips or a slot of RAM or something. And yeah. it's like, oh, my goodness, the RAM. <laughs> this <laughs> looks <laughs> like a road to goodness knows where but I know that's not part of that's the that's a thing. divider painting or it's like a zebra crossing <laughs> oh, I know to get is. to the recycle bin you've got to go to the across yeah. the zebra they're trying to keep it safe and that's obviously the recycle bin I mean that symbol there is just yeah, easy exactly. okay so, so I guess you answered your own question okay might save and open a text document so it there appears up here Hello. I can't type in North Korean stuff, so just hello will do. <laughs> and do you like how it's the... Uh, what do you think those buttons do? The red, yellow and green Red, button. well, closes it, that minimises it, and that expands it. Great. So it's pretty self-explanatory. It and it very much feels like you're using a Mac too. It yeah. does. It does. It's funny that this is actually Linux, but it looks like Mac. Well, the thing is, so. the reason they think it was made... This was made by some North Koreans, this operating system, and it, it has to be installed on all the North Koreans. They can't use any other operating system right. but the thing about it is the reason they think it's suddenly it's based on Mac is because at one point I think there was a photo where they saw you know the leader mm -hmm. Kim Jong the leader of North Korea basically mm -hmm. they saw a Mac on his desk and they think because he saw that Mac he liked it and he wanted their North Korean oh, operating right. to be based off it okay anyway so there you just go just a quick question yep. do they have to have this background are, are they so restricted they have to no have you've got a or selection they can choose there's a selection of backgrounds but only their it. selection oh no you can oh probably, you can put different things well not 
not that there's a Google Images to get their background from. Yeah, but I guess there's so. probably... maybe there's a Korean Images <laughs> to get their images from. Is there? Maybe. Remember, okay. North Korea and Korea and South Korea completely. So different, I'm so. going to right click, which doesn't do anything. Why would you right click? I don't know. I want to save it, but I I can't think of how to save it. <laughs> you see that? The only Diana thing I Anna. can read is Control Alt Escape and my name and Control Shift Plus Q. That's all I can read. Yeah, I personally would not click on that. If uh, I I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> you just open the menu. <laughs> this is I why icons can really become of good use, you know. In yeah, operating I think they need them here, but not that anybody else but a North Korean would we'd be accessing it, so this anyway. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming the top one is save, and this one save as. I'm assuming. But I, I need to name it something. Or maybe it'll name it just hello. So look, I'm just going to... This is telling you all about the computer and it's saying that it's got Red Star OS 3.0 on it. Right. So this is not it, obviously. No. So I'll get rid of that. Okay, so we know the top... Well, okay, a limit. This now, is... I'll just say... Oh, wait a sec. There's other things up yeah. here. Yeah. Now, that looks like font size. Oh, that looks Those like Those are actual few... fonts. Those are actual fonts there, font size and stuff. So I'd actually say that... That looks like a little House 21. Stuff in the Red Star House 21. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, maybe stuff in the Red Star isn't it. No. Maybe it's this. Maybe it's that. It's just telling you about this is version 1.0 of their writing application. Oh, I don't care what version it is. What about this? That's the hide. You've hidden it. Control H to hide. Really? Well, I'm, I'm assuming it's hidden now. Where do you think it went? How do you know well, the program? Well, it's hiding. How, How do you know the program's still open to compare to the calculator? It doesn't want to even open now. <laughs> what did you do? I don't know. This Stop. is ridiculous. Let me actually try and use Google Translate here to see what this actually says. Yeah, it's hide. That's what it says. The bottom thing, I think, is show all. So click on the bottom. This is all... Even though I can see, I can't understand or read anything. This is almost like trying out an operating system blind. Once we've gone through all the Patreon requests sometime in the future, we are actually going to be trying out with Dyna, trying out an operating system blind with a blindfold on and seeing what it's like, obviously with voice guidance and stuff. Not with me voice guidance, but what blind people would usually use on their computer and stuff like that. So that'll be something interesting to look forward to in the future to kind of get a, a trying out an operating system from a blind perspective because I'm almost feeling yeah, like yeah. I'm d trying this one out blind yeah anyway try the bottom one I'm pretty sure it's the bottom one we'll show it again there you go show all I used Google Translate because I, I hold it up to the screen What's and it, the green thing doesn't even work not now. for that but it's X you want anyway oh yeah why would you want to make that big no <laughs> okay anyway I'm so confused so maybe try the second one because I think no the second one no that nah, click it now I don't think look at control shift n I doubt it's control shift n so it because could that be would that possibly one? be new the next one down see this is why icons can help dramatically if it had they like a need new icons. icon and stuff well technically well technically they don't, they don't but they, they do. can read North Koreans can read this but you can just set the language of this to English if you do a bit of can you know, we do modern. that no we aren't doing that because that's <laughs> this is part of the North Korean experience. If I hold this to the screen, oh, so you can see wow. file, edit, view, windows, help. But it, it's not very good. Um, oh, that's control S there. You'd expect that you'd be able to save it from there. But why won't it let me save? I'm oh, not sure. Ah, now it does. Okay. There you go. Now you can save it. You see, it's a combination control S is what but helps where you where am I saving it to? Well, you're saving it to that green folder that has those two words there. Document. document. So in the document folder. People can't see you actually yeah, holding I know, it. I that's, know. that's really interesting though. Yeah. We At the end of it, I'll show you how the Google Translate app works, how I'm holding it up to the screen. Because and Philip's I'm holding his phone up to the thing and it's actually... It translates it live. looks like a mirror, or not a mirror, it looks like you're looking through a magnifying glass, which is then translating it. Yeah, anyway, amazing. let's not... No more cheating now, let's carry oh. on with it. But Keep I going. need to cheat. You, what are you going to name it? That's its default name at the top. Well, how can I name it anything? <laughs> Type in what you want to name it. Well, not that, because I can't even read that. I'm going to name it that. Hello, okay. So are you going to save it? Which button save? There you go. So I'll get out of it. So now you now can now just find, find all your files and folders and folders and files and all of that kind of stuff. Where do you think you'd access like a file browser? I'll just have a little look at that. Okay. So it was a green folder, but they're all green. <laughs> but then what's the point of that? Should it <laughs> oh, be wait, wait, wait. If you look, there are actually pictures on them. One's got a music picture on it. Actually, click on... There you go. You can see it a bit better now. What do you think? That looks like no, a that's download. a downloads. That might be a document. Hey, oh, I you found, found it. it! Hello! Yes! Hello! 
close. I did at it. A, at a f- yes, <laughs> that's good. So I did it, and yep. now I've got to delete it. Yeah. I'm going to go here. Yeah. Right click and. <sighs> they should have a picture of a Don't recycling you? I bin. Just wanna... I picked that. No, that, that didn't off. work. Right Actually, click. there is a bin at the bottom of your bar there. Look. It's gone. It's gone. It's in there. Yeah, I can see it. You just thought grabbing it and putting it in the bin would work, and it worked. Wow. Okay. Okay. okay there we go. So That's very much it. like how it would work on a Mac too. So they've kind of copied. But obviously, that. there is a little thing where you can. Yeah. Do it. So can you calculate? Let's do what well, we said before. Well, this will be easier. Five plus five. Okay. Plus five. Equals. Equals 10. Fantastic. Perfect. You've done In it. In any language. Okay, next one. You can get out of that now. Okay. Now you're going to need to try and change the desktop background. I'm going to right click. <laughs> now I'm sure one of these is to change the desktop background. And I'm ass- I'd say since it's got Alt Control 1, 2, and 3, I'd say that's virtual desktop personally. So okay. desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3. You've made a new folder. Congratulations. You've oh, got wait a sec. information about the desktop there. Wait. That's just information about the desktop. Now, oh, are you sure that's information? That's Yeah. As you're trying to find oh. it, that's information about the desktop. Anyway, as you're trying to find it, I've got another interesting fact. What's this? Something sheet. wrong. File, file does not exist. File okay. or does not exist. Yeah. What happens now? Oh, yes. Oh, you found that's it. it. The desktop background. That'll do. You want that one? And I want to apply. I mean, yes. No, already applied. You just click. Do you want to just click another one and see what they all look like? Mm, let's have a look. Yeah, yeah, that's... Oh, that's really that's nice. nice. Actually, I want that one. Yeah. That's Well, that's all there is. There is no, There's not many. no There's, scrolling. It's just a, Look, that's there. quite pretty. Okay, I fantastic. I like that. Okay. And all these pictures would be obviously taken in North Korea except the space ones. <laughs> <laughs> well, North Korea might have their own hidden space system in there. You don't know. Okay. Anyway, just on that topic, let's move on now. Yeah. I just want to, just before we finish up... This operating system, there's a user group called administrator, right, in the operating system. Users, however, can't actually gain full privileges to the system. So you can never gain full access to your computer, really. Okay? Really? Yeah, full privileges to Who do whatever you want. Who gains full access to my computer? No, thing? you can't gain full access, like, do very specific, mainly for hacking type things. And, you know, you can't do things that you'd be able to do on any Linux operating. It's very restricted. Now, commands such as sudo and su are actually not available. Mm-hmm. Stuff and those kind of commands allow you to install new software software and stuff that's untr you know, that yep. kind of stuff if you wanted to install Firefox, something like that, right? Now it actually comes pre-installed with a number of applications that monitor its users. So it watches what all its users are doing. That's terrible. Okay, so it monitors its users. I hope we're not being monitored by North Korea now with this. Well you Could might be? you might be, but what have you really done that's suspicious or scary? Just uh, m- make a notepad file, change your desktop background. So. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now if the user tries to disable any security function Functions. Let's say you go to a task manager and try and kill off things that are, you know, monitoring you or stopping you from doing things. The operating system may restart or completely destroy itself in, oh to, to, you know, to keep it safe. It'll just this self-destruct. Is terrible. I okay? mean, oh, how do those people live under those conditions? I think that's absolutely terrible, and I'm entitled to my opinion. Yeah, I it, think it's that's a very, really it's, appalling. It's a, it's a sad situation. It of is a what very sad through. situation. Those um, poor people. They've got no freedom. If you want to see more about. North Everything Korea. is censored. It's like Big Brother constantly mm. watching. There's all actually, the time. Um, I'm pretty sure someone uh, there was a UK BBC thing where they actually kind of went inside North Korea a couple of years ago to kind of see what life was like there, and you can actually see um, interesting things like there'll be builders building, building constantly. Even at two a.m., they'll be building oh their gosh. buildings. You know, they get very little free time and practically no free time there to do what they want. It's it's so they're constantly sad. doing something, um, and then you've got the you know censorship and people smuggling DVDs from South Korea and having to watch them at midnight because that's the only hour that they have electricity, some people, oh. at midnight. But then they're separately. being monitored. And so if they, they would... get caught with those South Korea DVDs of what life is like down there, like, you oh know, like shows gosh. like similar to Home and Away and stuff yeah. like that, just seeing that, that you can be in so much trouble and go to jail for that's simply watching so something from, you know, down there. But don't take my word from it. You can see it on, you know, documentaries and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Just open each applicant. Just click on each applicant to see what it looks like. So that's what that kind of looks like. See how fans open with, you know, yeah. recent things there that looks like a kind of network or internet or like just information application that's your text that that's, that's like a settings application there Lisa's has icons but yeah keep all these open oh actually. that's a printer you actually know that's a printer that's CD and it even says CD. and that electricity things it even like says CD. yeah anyway move it so everything can be on the screen at once so move things so we can see so we can kind of open and use the Google Translate we thing. know what that is 
Yeah, see, so you can kind of see what these applications look like. I mean, they're no, it's not a bad looking operating system, you know what I mean? It's, it looks okay. Uh, anyway, that's their web browser, but we won't be able to access their internet. No. It's actually based off Firefox, that web based browser. See how it's trying to, you know, run into the internet, but it's not going to load? Just click OK. <laughs> that's okay, it's blue. Yeah. Can I get rid of this? Yeah, if I'll you want. We're not going to. Yeah, that's their kind of internet brand, but we can't really do anything okay. within it. Yep. Okay, anyway, so let's see how the Google Translate thingy works, because you're quite interested in that. Here's the screen, right? And what you can actually do is, if you've got Google Translate on your phone, you can actually hold it up to things on the screen and read, see that? For example, file, edit, and all of that kind of stuff. Um, it's not perfect, but then if you click on something and go through, you know, power savings. Uh, Video devices, it said. Yeah, mouse is that next one, and it looks like a mouse, yeah, actually. Yeah, it does. You see? Um, so that kind of stuff. Doc, see that one is settings for Security. the dock. Security, and that looks like a safe. Right click the desktop. See that, how you can see a new file. So that's a new folder. Background image change, see? Yeah, there it that is. That is it, see, background image Based change. Based on view way set. Yeah, so this is a good thing. It could it works better when you're like in another country. Korean to English isn't fantastic, but other countries like Look, German live. and French work a lot better. Um, so what did the bin say? Trash. See, the bin, it says trash. a perfect trash. Yeah. There you go. It kind of flickers a bit, but it's it's trash. You can see it. Yeah. See, the say country. something about the country. The country, yep. Body. Body oh, play. Oh, maybe they film... That's body play. <laughs> what kind of stuff do they show on that? Body play. <laughs> I would be surprised if it was anything bad. Scheduling. Considering That's where all they, the censorship. Yeah, they schedule all the body play in that application. That's their address, address. book. Oh, so it is an address yeah. book. Yeah, PDF and... and... Something else, but <laughs> we don't know. And that's the electronic hydroxyl. Hydroxyl, really? Yeah, electronic hydroxyl. Wow, I've never heard it called anyway, that before. Anyway, put your cursor over that. And see, system preferences pops up, yes. see? It's perfect. The body of the editor. The body of the editor? <laughs> someone <laughs> someone, someone must have died. Him. Where did they bury, where did they put the body of the editor? I don't know. Anyway, let's let's finish up now. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of OS First Timer. We will see you guys in the next episode. See ya.